Hey Queens, welcome. Hope you're having a wonderful day. If you're new here, my name is Jessie. Today I'm going to be getting it all done, bringing you tons of cleaning motivation. So not only am I going to be getting tons of cleaning done, I'm also going to be sharing with you a Walmart grocery haul and then I'm going to be sharing with you how I make my famous meatloaf that is so delicious. So starting out in this living room, I need to deep clean this couch. I cannot stand to look at it anymore. I have been so busy. I've had a lot of guests over, get togethers, and this is the state of my couch now. White couches, light couches, they get dirty. You have to keep them clean. So I'm going to do just that. I'm going to deep clean this couch. So the good thing about this couch is not only is it light, but it the cushion covers come off and I can wash them now that is what i'm going to do is i'm going to take them all off so i can give them a good wash i'm going to add some bleach in there too and bleach them to get them all nice and clean and then i also have some upholstery spray that i'm going to be spraying on them afterwards that way they can stay nice and clean so i didn't know if the um, top cushions came off or not like the backrest but they did so I went ahead and took all of them off as well they weren't really that bad but since I was washing them all I decided to go ahead and give them all a wash that way I can go ahead and spray that spray on never used it before but I decided to go ahead and give it a try so yeah y'all hopefully this video will give you tons of cleaning motivation if you have a couch and you didn't know where to start hopefully this will give you some ideas or the motivation if you needed to deep clean your couch as well. But I hope you're all having a wonderful day today. Hope this video brings you tons of cleaning and homemaking motivations. So I'm going to go ahead and remove all of the covers off all the cushions. And then get those put in the wash. And just going to start deep cleaning my couch today. I also have brand new blinds for the living room and my kitchen. And some new curtains for my kitchen too that I cannot wait to get put up as well. I'll be sharing those with you too here in a bit, but I'm gonna go ahead and get started. So now I'm going to take all of these to the wash so I can go ahead and get them loaded. It's so many of them. So I'm going to go ahead and just do two loads. I don't want to over stuff the washer and them not get clean. So I'm going to go ahead and just do two loads, wash them really quick. I'm just going to go ahead and put a, a pot in there and then also some bleach. That way I can make sure they get nice and clean. And I'm just going to go ahead and just let them wash. I'm not going to even dry them in the dryer. I'm just going to go ahead and put them outside from my porch and just let them dry out there so they won't shrink. Now here's my couch. It desperately needed a clean as you can see. So I'm going to go ahead and vacuum all all of this up right now so it has a bunch of sunflower seeds and crumbs so it looks like we actually have fun on this couch <laughs> so I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum this up really good and just keep on working in here and then I'm gonna move on into the kitchen I do have some more things that I have to do I have a lot to do in the kitchen as well I'm also gonna be sharing with you a yummy delicious recipe this is my favorite meatloaf um i love this it's actually my mother-in-law's recipe and i have been making it 
for how many years now? Like 14 years been making it this way and it is just so good. So I'm going to go ahead and share that with you in case you've never tried meatloaf or if you've never found a really good recipe that you like, definitely give this a try. I've never liked meatloaf until this recipe and I've had others say the same. So I cannot wait to share that with y'all. I also have a grocery haul to share with you. Also some brand new blinds and some curtains in my kitchen as well. I'm not heading for the stars driving down the boulevard at night Playing cold play on repeat Watching people on the street as I go by And it doesn't even matter to me where I go I just feel I need to take a ride Got my coffee cup to go And I'm gonna hit the road tonight Now my wheels in motion and my windows open with the wind blowing in my hair. I'm driving down the highway, gonna do this my way. I can feel it in the air. So it's vacuumed up and it looks so much better. Now I'm going to go ahead and move on into the kitchen. I need to tackle some things in here as well. So I'm going to just clean off my island really quick. I don't know if you can see, but I have some sticky stuff and I just need to clean that off. So I'm going to go ahead and take everything off the island, spray it down really quick and get that clean. I'll go ahead and wipe down the stools as well. And I also have some dishes in the dishwasher I need to get put away as well as on the counter and then i need to load some dishes into the dishwasher and just get you know just the basic things done in the kitchen those things are never ending here at my house whether i'm entertaining guests or just for us i always have loads of dishes to wash and you know kitchen is always needing something cleaned in here so I hope you were up cleaning with me and this video is giving you tons of cleaning motivation I don't know about you but if I am watching someone clean it just automatically makes me want to get up and clean I hope I'm able to do that for you as well I always love making these videos and I love to be that friend that you can get up and clean with and can always count on having a video for you that's going to motivate you so um, if you missed my last video I did say that I'm sticking true to my um, upload schedule which is Sundays and Wednesdays so I hope those days work for you. If you miss one, if you're too busy, you can't watch, you can always come back and watch the video. So as far as makeovers and the content that I want to do on my channel, now I took two weeks off and I did a lot of thinking about what I wanted to do here because I know I've gone back and forth and I feel like, you know, a lot of y'all have been here with me since I've, you know, even my single wide. So you know, you've been here with me since I purchased this fixture upper and a lot of y'all really want to, you know, see what I do to finish up the mobile home as far as like we still need to do flooring all over my um, fur baby's bedroom still needs a makeover. It needs a complete makeover. I haven't done anything in there. We've just gutted out my son's bathroom. So he's going to have new flooring a new you know toilet a new vanity of course I'm going to be painting in there and decorating so that's going to be really fun my bathroom you know whenever I decided to go ahead and do white all over my house and get rid of the gray I still haven't even painted in there so I still have my bathroom to do I need to redecorate in there also in my laundry room now that wall's green and I want to get rid of that green wall. Uh, I talked about this in one of my last videos. Like even in my living room, I have two walls that are green. And ever since I did my island and it's green, it's just I feel like there's too much green. So I have been, you know, wanting to change those. I haven't even gotten around to those yet. I have just been so busy. So there's still so much that I need to do that I want to, you know, try to start filming for y'all. That, that way I can just, I guess, push myself to get them over with. Now, I have been doing makeovers for so long. I'm at the point where I'm just over it. I'm over the makeovers. I'm ready for them to be over with. So hopefully soon they will come to an end. So like my bedroom, I'm, I love my bedroom. It's almost complete besides flooring. My living room is pretty much complete 
besides flooring. I just need to paint those two walls white and on top of the um, door just needs to be white. Other than that, that's done. So I don't have to touch those anymore. So I just need to focus on finishing. Like even my kitchen, I have a couple walls that, that walls that still need to be painted white that they're not white yet. And there's like a handful of things that we want built outside. But I won't be filming any of those, y'all. Those are just things that, you know, we'll probably hire people to do. And I'm not going to be filming them. So those are things that's just, you know, not even going to be filmed. I'm just going to be focusing on the things inside. And my goal is to hurry up and get them all done as fast as I can. And then I can put uh, makeovers to an end here on my channel. But that way I can get myself, um, push myself to get them over with. And then y'all can see how I finish everything. So that is my goal. And you know, I don't want anybody to be upset because I'm no longer going to be doing makeovers. Because I mean, once my house is done, my house is done. I can't just make over a room over and over again or you know, just keep doing makeovers just for views because that's just not what my channel is going to be about or anything like that. I just want to finish my home, do everything the right way, get it over with, and, you know, just continue to the cleaning and the cooking aspect on my channel. <laughs> It's a remedy, a remedy. that the kitchen is clean I'm gonna go ahead and get all of this window stuff down the decorations the curtains all of that and take down the blind today I am going to be putting up a brand new 
blinds in the kitchen and in my living room. I am working with Smart Wings today and they have sent me a couple beautiful blinds and I am going to be installing them. Now they have all different kinds of blinds. As you can see, they have roller shades, cellular shades, the zebra shades, dual shades. I got the woven wood shades. They also have outdoor shades as well. Now, I loved the woven ones. They just seemed like they would match my house a lot better. And what drew me to them was the blackout option. So they had a 70% a 50% and a 100% and I definitely went with the 50% I felt like that would be super amazing for me because I love to be able to see out of my windows so I'm always opening up my blinds anyways but with this blind I didn't have to do that so I can just see out and it gives enough you know privacy as well so I really really love that now this one is motorized and it does come with a remote and these blinds are actually custom made to your window so you will need to measure your window and you can put them on the inside of the frame or outside of your window and they fit mine perfect so make sure if you order these measure exactly the width and height that way you get it right and I measured perfectly because both of mine fit perfectly and I absolutely love them the installation was actually very very easy as well and I love them so much I would love to have more for the rest of my home because these are truly amazing and I absolutely love the color they have a um, a wide selection of colors that you can choose from but definitely go and check them out if you have been thinking about getting a new set of blinds for your you know windows then definitely check them out and I love them so thank you smart wings for reaching out and working with me on today's video I really love my new blinds and if you are interested in any of these blinds, everything that you need to know will be down in the description box Is below. Everything pale and cold. Can't seem to pick up my phone. It's been ringing all day long. Behind these clothes, I know the sun will be. But today's raining, so be patient with me. Whenever my husband built my island, I purchased a three-piece kitchen curtain set and the valance actually went on the kitchen window and the other two went on the island. So I decided to go ahead and um, put them away because the color was like a summery spring green and it didn't really go for the fall winter months. So I, the ones that I got to decorate for fall I just didn't like them they didn't go so I decided to go ahead and order me a darker set of green that way I could have the green buffalo check in the kitchen during like the fall winter months and then the lighter green can I can bring those out during the summer and spring months so that way I could still have the green because I feel like the green just goes very very well and I just love it so much I'm too tired to sleep too tired
So the kitchen is done. Now it's time to move into the living room. So this is what the curtains look like before. Now I'm going to go ahead and get the curtains down, take the blinds down. That way I can go ahead and install the new blinds in here as well. So this was very easy, but I actually had my husband help me because the bigger one was just too um, heavy for me to hold by myself. Plus, it's longer. I didn't do two different blinds. I just did one big one, and I thought that would look a lot better than having two smaller ones. So that's what I went ahead and did. So I'm going to go ahead and get this one put up as well. So just to show you how easy it is to put this blind together or put it on the wall. So as you can see, it has the pre-drilled holes and it does come with this like little L-shaped hardware and you screw that to the wall. There it is. And you just slip the blinds through that little um, screw that's already on there and you just tighten it up. That is so easy. I think it looks so good. I love the 50% blackout that I got. And I'm so glad I went with that because I never have to move my blinds or my shades up and down. I can just leave them like that unless I need to clean them. So it does have a remote. That way the remotes, you know, the batteries won't die fast anyways. And I love how I'm able to see outside. It is just so perfect. So now I'm going to go ahead and work on getting all of these cushions put back into the covers. They are all washed, bleached, and nice and dried. I had them outside drying. I don't never dry them in the jar because I don't want them to shrink. I have heard some horror stories and I would hate to, for that to happen to me. So I'm going to go ahead and just put them all on there and then I will put them all where they go and then I'm going to be actually spraying the scotch guard on there that way it can protect my cushions and maybe help with keeping them a cleaner I've never used it before so hopefully this stuff works
got this stuff at Walmart and I'm going to spray this all over the couch and I did two light coats this stuff was strong and it stunk so bad it was like lighter fluid so it says the odor will go away when it dries and it did but I did have to cover my nose because it was so strong and then I decided to just open up my front door and prop open the glass door that way you can air out a little bit because it was just so strong and I didn't want that smell to be in my house forever thank god at this time my family wasn't home it was just me but it was strong enough as you can see I just had to cover my nose and I got my fur babies and we went outside and let it air out just a minute been looking for some help just to find myself yeah been losing my focus like a thousand times before can't take this anymore because i've been looking for something to change thoughts into motion been waiting way too long oh yeah waiting just for somebody to love and to surround me and to handle my emotions i was out waiting for something and if i close my eyes I still need to clean both ottomans and both armrests as you can see one of them one of the armrests is just oh, so dirty so that needs to get clean as well and this ottoman is dirty too now it looks really dirty i don't know why the camera shows it like that but the other camera i mean other ottoman looks the color too but i think it's just the lighting so that's not that bad i don't know why it's showing it that way but what I like to do is just get a rag and I'll have my, I have like a cleaning bucket that I fill up with water, bleach, and detergent and I'll just rub it over it and it will clean it. But I didn't, couldn't find my gloves, my rubber gloves that I use for um, that. So I didn't do it today. So if I cannot find my gloves, then I need to order me some. I put them in the wash to wash them, but I can't find them. So I'm not going to put my hands inside of bleach water <laughs> without my gloves. But anyways, this is how everything looks now. It's all nice and clean. I just love the way my home is coming along. It looks so good. It may not be everybody's cup of tea, but it sure is mine and I love it. So I'm going to let y'all see a little bit of that. And then we're going to get to the cooking portion of this video where I share with you how I make my famous meatloaf. It is so, so delicious. And I'm so excited to share this recipe with you. I was out waiting for something. And if I close my eyes.
So it is now time to make some meatloaf. So I have three pounds of ground turkey. I used to make it with ground beef, but use ground beef if you like, or you can use ground pork, whatever kind of ground meat that you want. So I'm gonna go ahead and to that, I added like a couple handfuls of shredded cheese, and I'm going to crush up a sleeve of crackers, just the saltines, and I'm gonna add those in there. I'm also gonna crack two eggs in there as well and the reason why i add the eggs in there is just going to help everything combine and stick together that way it can form that beautiful loaf now i'm adding some onions and bell peppers in here as well now i'm just to be lazy i'm just going to be using the frozen bag from walmart and i'm just putting it in my food processor and i'm going to just you know give it a rough chop that way it will be smaller pieces i decided to go ahead and use the whole bag because i personally love all of the onions and bell peppers in mine and i feel like it just gives it a wonderful flavor but you know you can use as much as you want just add it to your liking i'm also going to be adding some salt and black pepper to this as well as you can see i don't measure anything i'm just adding you know enough for the three pounds and I'm just going to mix that very well. Now, if you have a loaf pan, just go ahead and form it into a loaf. I don't have one of those. So I'm just going to be putting mine into a um, baking dish. Now, I'm using ground turkey, so I'm not going to have all of that extra grease that's going to come out of it. So I don't use the um, loaf pan. So I'm going to go ahead and just go ahead and make the sauce so I can cover it with the sauce. Now this sauce is the best part. I feel like this sauce can make or break it. So it's very, very, very easy. So I'm gonna be putting about two, two and a half to three cups of ketchup. And I have about three tablespoons of brown sugar. And to that I'm gonna add um, about a half a cup to a cup of mustard. Not even that much. I think probably about half a cup of mustard in there. Just a good squirt. <laughs> probably about half a cup. Maybe a little less than that. You've seen it wasn't that much. I don't measure. So I'm not good with the measurements. I eyeball everything. And I'm going to mix that up very, very well. And then I'm just going to put that right over my meatloaf and get that put into the oven. I'm going to let it cook for about an hour or so just until the meat is all the way cooked through and the sauce is thickened up and it's brown just a little bit it will be a little bit darker and then it will be ready i'm also going to be making a couple sides with it as well i didn't film those but i'm making some green beans i'm just using the canned green beans but i'm going to be um, seasoning them and making them taste a lot better because straight out the can they're no good and then i'm also going to be making some mashed potatoes because you can't have meatloaf without mashed potatoes and i didn't make any gravy with it because just the sauce with this is just so good so I didn't make gravy the gravy does not taste good when you have meatloaf I feel like you know it just goes perfectly with the sauce that's on top of the meatloaf if that makes sense so I'm gonna go ahead and get this put into the oven let it cook and y'all this was so so good this is what it looked like this was my dinner and it was so delicious if you make it this way yay if you don't you do something a little different let me know what you do i would love to hear and definitely give this a try if you've never tried it before i'm gonna go ahead and share with you this walmart grocery haul so i already have a lot of stuff on hand this is just some stuff that i needed to go along with what i have for the week so I picked up four twist up sodas and I also picked up some ranch here. So I'm, I don't really like the Hidden Valley and then the ranch that I was um, getting, I don't care for it either. So I wanted to try something different and this one had some good reviews. So I'm going to go ahead and give that a try because we're going to be having salads a couple nights this week. We're going to be having a tacos and I'm going to be using some of that sour cream for that. 
And also I'm gonna be making my big sandwich. If you've been here with me for a while, you know what that is, but I'll share it with you anyways. So I'll have some smoked turkey breast and then also some black forest ham as well. This is the um, coffee. I have some caramel macchiato. I also had a mocha one, but they wanted to substitute for a light one and I was like, no. So we definitely need to pick up another coffee when we go back for waters. And these straw, veggie straws are so good. And they're also gluten-free. So I got a big bag of those. And then we also like the Harvest Cheddar um, Sun Chips. My husband loves these. So I got those to go along with um, the chips as well for when we have our big sandwich. I also got some uh, sunflower seeds. I love to munch on those <laughs> during movie nights. And then uh, some snacks for the kiddos and my husband. So I have some fudge rounds oatmeal, cream pies, and the Star Crunch. And then I picked up also a few gluten-free items as well. So I have a pumpkin bread and muffin mix. It's gluten-free and I'm so excited to give this a try and see how it tastes. I love anything pumpkin, so we'll see. And then I also got some gluten-free um, pancake mix and some English muffins that are gluten-free as well. These are not that bad. So I've been actually eating them for a while. Also have an 18 count of eggs and some banana peppers for my big sandwich. Also a couple cans of gluten-free cream of chicken soup. I'm going to be making a dish and it calls for um, the soup. So I decided to go ahead, that, go ahead and get that in the gluten-free version. Also the casserole I'm done making calls for this rice as well. And then I also have some onion soup mix. This is going to be for the recipe. I'll share that with you. Also right here, I have some bananas and some veggies. So we're gonna be having salads for two nights where I'm gonna make some grilled chicken and we're gonna have some salad to go with it. And I don't really like buying the packaged salad because it just goes bad so quick and we never get to it in time. So I just decided to go ahead and just get the things that we like and just make our own. You know, I'll chop everything up and just prep it myself. So um, here I have some cucumbers. Now me and my son absolutely love cucumbers. And you know, we'll have those with our, you know, meals sometimes or just for a snack. But I got some of those to go with my um, salads as well. Some bananas. I do have um, about five or six bananas left, but me and my son both like them and then my fur babies do too so i got some more bananas and some tomatoes i have some red onion some broccoli shredded carrots i have two heads of lettuce some cauliflower and some um, red cabbage or purple cabbage so that is what i got for the week 